Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of Azure Every Day. I'm uh, Christopher Ehrlich, Senior Principal Architect over here at Pragmatic Works. And today we are going to talk about the Azure Data Box. Now, this is pretty cool stuff, right? So let's paint a picture. You have a ton of data, let's say uh, 50 terabytes of data on-prem, and you need to get that into Azure because you're gonna start doing incremental backups of a SQL database or um, you know something along those lines, right? And you've got two options here, right? One is to move that data manually. Now, how painful is that going to be? Let's be honest, pretty painful, right? You gotta chunk it, you gotta, you gotta send it up using AZ Copy or uh, one of the other Azure data tools, put it up in a blob storage, extract it, um, and then you know g continue on with the process. So now, what Azure Data Box does is it allows you to move large chunks of data up into Azure. So the way that this works is uh, you order the box through Azure, you receive it, and basically you connect it to your environment, right? However, you're going to move that data. Uh, it uses standard protocols like um, NAS protocols, SMB and CIFS. You copy the data that you wanna move, you return the data box back to Azure, and then you upload the data, right? So they will upload the data into your storage container or containers, uh, and they will then, then securely erase that data box, right? And zero it out to make sure that there's no uh, privacy concerns or anything like that. It's a super secure box, right? Um, you can currently get them in the United States and the European Union. For the data box, you get 256-bit encryption, right? Uh, it's a super tough hardened box, so you know it can withstand drops and water and all that good stuff. Um, it it can be uh, pushed into Azure Blob, right? Uh, you can copy data up to ten storage accounts. Um, you know we, there are uh, two one gigabit per second and two ten gigabit per section second connections uh, to be able to quickly move data off of your network onto the box. And um, yeah, it uses the standard protocols. Now, more recently, Microsoft has announced the data box disk, okay? And this is exactly what it sounds like, right? It is a small disk. It's a eight, it's, sorry, an eight terabyte disk. You can order up to five of them as part of the data box disk. Um, there's 35 terabytes of usable capacity per order, okay? Um, it supports Azure Blobs as well. You copy the data um, onto the disk, same process you use for the data box, and then it copies those into a single storage account for you. It has a USB a S and a SATA 3 interface, SATA 2 and SATA 3, sorry. Uh, it uses 128-bit encryption, and uh, you know, essentially you, you connect it, um, unlock it, copy the data, and send it back over, okay? Uh, very, very simple process, great way of moving large chunks of data up into Azure. And now, the best part, while it's in preview, this is a free service, okay? So for the data box or the data box disk, Microsoft is going to send this to you for free, and you can move all your data up into Azure for free this way. Now, when you buy your storage account, it's gonna start costing you money. When you start storing large sums of data, it's gonna cost money, but let's be honest, storage is cheap in Azure, right? So, uh, definitely worth a look, uh, you know, check it out. We can um, help you out with any of this, answer any questions, you know, so if something comes up and uh, the website doesn't answer it for you, happy to help out. So, uh, feel free to reach out the link below, and otherwise, uh, thanks for listening, have a great day.